Um, <laughs> Y'all probably like, you have lost your freaking mind. Listen, like I said, it's either a $20 mock-up transmission or it's a builder or it's a spare case, you know, vice versa. Um, obviously, I would love to have a, a different transmission and I think we will probably look for one. But I'm curious as we get deeper into this thing, um, how much exactly is affected? Do we just have outside rust here or is it, you know, rusty all the way up in there? Now, some of that up in there doesn't look bad. It was, uh, it, when I found this transmission, it was sitting on the pan um, in the ground. So obviously, you know, that's, that's, not, that's not good for it at all. Um, but I don't know how much is actually bad. Um, I mean, we've got, you know, the case, and like I said, if anything, it's mock-up mock-up if anything it's mock-up um so i'm gonna keep on getting at it i just figured i would show y'all uh the first mess of it like i said i've been very curious for about a year um now i've had this thing on the side of my house um not including you know probably to 20 years i think that it sat in the woods at its previous location um and i've just always been curious of what i've got so that i know what to start chasing um you know, and should we get a whole nother transmission for the hard parts? You know, you have uh, shafts and stuff like that. Uh, you can buy upgraded stuff, but my transmission is kind of, I'm about three grand in just my transmission, not including bell housing or converter, just the trans. I'm about three grand and I build it myself. Um, so you need certain parts, you know, mine's a mixture of, you know, the factory pump modified and stuff like that. Now, obviously this pump looks like it's definitely going to be bad, you know, but, um, maybe we just have a mock-up trans you know maybe this is our mock trans and we can go snag another one out of the junkyard and we'll definitely definitely do that if if need be i just wanted to dive into this thing so let's take a little bit more off and see what we got So we got the uh, the first part of it apart. We got the pump out of it. I can't remember my uh, drum orders. I've got a lot of refreshing to do. Uh, I'm gonna dive into YouTube over the next um, couple of weeks and start refreshing my brain on uh, all of the components of the Turbo 400. Like I said, again, keep in mind that I have successfully built one. Um, it just seems like I didn't, um, you know, store any of that knowledge in my brain like it was so much um info to take in that i didn't you know retain it all right away so let's see here this pump we took out of here uh it's a one two three four five six bolt pump let's see what this case is the case is one two three four five six seven eight so this is definitely, um, if my research serves me correct, this is one thing that I was hoping we would have is the eight bolt case because the, uh, the eight bolt is uh, harder to find. I know there was one of these that was put in here, but not tapped from the factory. Uh, I tapped mine. Let's see here, that's got threads in it. That's got threads in it. That's got threads in it. All of them had bolts in them. That's got threads in it. So all of them have threads uh, in them. Man, I really, really, really feel like the case that's in my car now is a seven bolt, uh, not the eight bolt. I really feel like the eight bolt is the one you want. Uh, so if I found an eight bolt case, then I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be pretty freaking stoked. Uh, because I do, I do remember that the seven bolt, it almost felt like one was missing. And I feel like, I feel like it was this one. I feel like this is the one that was missing. But again, this is not informational. This is not factual because I cannot remember the details. Uh, this is just me talking to y'all. Uh, cool piece. There is the nail still in there. Um, so they actually put these things together with a finishing nail that's in there. Um, I believe that was from the factory. I know it's common to find the uh, nail in there. I think when they're not bent, I think 
that was a sign that it was from a factory. I think most people bend them when they rebuild them. Um, but again, not factual information at this time because I can't, I cannot remember all the details. Uh, this thing was super clean when I took his part. I don't even remember all of the terms, sadly. I mean, there's so much information that my brain just did not retain, um, you know, whenever I built, uh, my first Turbo 400. Now, I'm not going to bust it out tonight, but I have a whole shelf over here. I mean, I know some of y'all might not believe me. This is all Turbo 400. So this is all bag parts. So I have a lot of Turbo 400 stuff right here um, of parts that I pulled out of my last one that I replaced. Um, the valve body is obviously um, trash. I mean, you most of the time replace them anyway. So uh, this guy is seen better days. Uh, this piece is stuck in there. I don't want to throw anything away until I make sure I don't need to unseize anything or get anything out. I'm pretty sure all of these parts are diamond, or not diamond dozen. Some of these parts are getting hard to find. That's the reason why I don't want to trash anything. Um, we might need to like retrieve that or try to heat it up or soak it with WD-40 and retrieve it or even just dunk this whole thing in transmission fluid at the shop and let this thing soak or motor oil or something. But I do know that like, you know, that gasket, this filter, this pan, all of this is trash. This is, this is complete trash. Uh, this little guy right here is trash. Um, see here i don't know how much i trust these shafts um you know they have especially these outers they have pitting in them i don't think i'm gonna trust them at all probably definitely replace them more than likely we will be grabbing another transmission um so that we don't have to deal with this stuff i mean some of the stuff looks okay you know such as all this all this looks fine but like all this outer stuff does not uh look good and, and me and maybe it'll clean right up i don't know I have to split this case or split this pump to see what inside of it looks like. But my gut feeling is telling me that it's trash also, that this pump is trash. Um, obviously, and I can just go ahead and tell you, I don't think we would have no reason to be running no crap like that. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure all this stuff's going to be a diamond dozen. So I'm just going to continue my archaeological dig here. And um, we're not going to trash anything that's clearly not... Uh, complete garbage uh, just because we're not you know 100% sure what we need but I mean we have you know at least a mock-up case and we have some we need to collect these the little check balls because we're gonna have uh, uh, we need to hang on to the check balls let's see here we need to just try to save everything we can save I mean, some of these look, I mean, these, these are 100% clean. I mean, this area right here hasn't even been touched. I'm very curious to uh, get some other people's opinions on this case. I know that we're going to have opinions all over the board. People are going to say, you know, there's no way I would trust that. You're crazy. I just lost the check ball. Um... You know, obviously we're going to have difference in opinions. But I still like to hear what some people have to say. Oh, like that one. Has rust built up on it, so clearly you can't use that one. I'm sure that they sell, like, replacement check balls. Like, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure all that stuff is easily purchased I do remember that little guy right there remember there was a bolt right there in the center i can't remember what it was i think it was an allen head we definitely got to get more pb blaster and more brake parts clean for the house as we are like out Let's see if i can figure out what size that is because i know that is holding in my center I think that's like my center support my center section or whatever it's called i think that's the guy that's holding it in oh it's a 12 point that's what it was it was a 12 point um let's try to get that out and get a couple more bolts taken apart
this is where we're gonna call it quits um, for right now. I think I need some WD-40 or uh, something. This this back half of this thing is really uh, seized in there. Um, again, uh, if if the case is usable, is up in the air. Uh, I really want to get this back half apart. I had to do some busting of the uh, what is this thing called? I'm pretty sure this has to do with the speedometer, the rear servo, maybe. Um, I, I don't remember, you know, again, none of this is factual. You need to watch other videos, but I had to bust this in half because it was seized up in there, the other, uh, metal part. And I don't want to do too much beating tonight. Uh, because Harper's asleep. So we need to take a, uh, a punch and punch that little guy out right there. Um, makes him pretty sure. I feel like all these shafts are trash. Maybe not, but I feel like they are, uh, need to get this rear section out. The parking pole is not engaged so you can see it's not uh engaged fortunately for us but it is froze uh, all this is froze and, and no good um it's barely hanging on you can see it better now so all that's froze uh, that needs to come out you know but it's probably no good it's probably all that stuff's probably trash but um if anything a mock-up case if we don't decide to use it uh, but we might use this thing um got all this stuff taken apart this stuff got a little tricky because it's rusty but I mean, at least we have uh snap rings you know lock or whatever they're called um i know you can get different sized ones that are better than others uh, so these are always good to have you can buy everything but take some sandpaper clean it lightly scotch bright uh soak it in some wd-40 or something diesel fuel clean that stuff up reverse uh obviously trash all that stuff's trash all the clutches are trash um all the steels are probably trash uh, i don't i don't know if you really should clean steels up i know you can replace them um they're all trash i'm gonna say they're all trash uh, not unless there's some special one out there that you want to save and under different thicknesses uh let's see here i mean you know them pieces like that they they don't look bad uh, you know you have another lock ring retainer ring uh, that stuff's good. Uh, you can tell in here that some of these steels had got some uh, friction in them, some heat. Uh, you can see that guy right there, that blue, where she got hot at some point. Uh, again, blue. So, uh, But again, I don't know if them steels, obviously the clutches are trash. I don't know if the steels are trash or not, uh, if I should save them, clean them up. Um, I, I know you can buy other ones. All of them pieces in there. I'm not, not gonna take that apart tonight. But you gotta remember, you gotta press that, but that's got springs in it. Uh, all that stuff looks pretty decent in there, usable. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one piece that I replaced with the oversized aluminum one in my other, in my, in my current car. Um, the input shaft is stuck inside the pump. I did miss that earlier. Uh, that all come out together and the pump should come out uh, separate. So pretty much that's all going to be trash. Probably the input, the input shaft, the whole pump, all that stuff. So yeah, basically either a mock-up case or we might run this case. Not sure, but we do got to get that out and then get this case cleaned up. Uh, maybe hot tanked, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, be blasted, cleaned up, something. Um, but that's going to be it for tonight. We're going to have to... Uh, like I said, probably soak this thing in WD-40 and try to, during the day when we can really well on this, try to get this thing forward and out of here and take apart the rest of, uh, the rest of all this stuff. Uh, the tag, let's see here. Uh, for anybody that's wondering on the tag, let's see if I can get it to focus. So 76PG73926, it looked like, uh... I can't make out anything else. But, yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I know a lot of people are going to be like, dude, you're an idiot. Why are you wasting your time? Scrap it. Throw it away. Just just stop with the comments. It's such a waste of time, man. We like to work. Uh, we like to do pointless work if it is pointless. Uh, we like to learn. We like to get our hands dirty. And we like to uh, mess around with stuff. Just, dude... Say, save them stupid comments for some other channel or whatever because it's just it's pointless like we're not going to stop building we're not going to stop working on stuff we're not going to use our time wisely and listen to our teacher <laughs> and then what they used to always tell me in school um man we're just going to get out here we're just going to have fun we're going to build and that's what you need to do you need to get in your garage 
go get on that car and have some fun. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks, y'all.